Hi friends, welcome back to Sheena's Homestead. Today I have a fun little project for us. We are going to be making vanilla bean extract. It's actually super simple and you'll save yourself a lot of money. And you know what, when we make it ourselves, we don't have any extra filler ingredients or extra sugar um, in our product. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. This makes great gifts for Christmas or birthdays. Um, everybody is always asking me if I have any extra after I've gifted them some because they absolutely love it. Um, and actually the nice thing about it is that they can refill it themselves um, and then make their own. So this is a great gift idea. Let me show you how to make this. And put them I'm done so to begin, we are going to need a couple things. Um, I am using rum for this recipe. You can use any alcohol that you like. Um, I just prefer rum because it has a sweet aftertaste and it's just more of a warm alcohol flavor um, versus something like, like vodka, but you could absolutely use that too. So I just have this, it's what was in our cupboard. I'm pretty sure someone gifted it to us. So we're gonna make good use out of it. Um, and I am cutting here on a plate. I am not cutting on my cutting board because I don't like how the little um, vanilla beans get stuck in there and then they flavor things that aren't supposed to be vanilla. So I'm just using my little plate. And then I have these vanilla beans that I bought here off of Amazon and they are from Madagascar. They are certified organic, that is important. Um, and so quite a few of them came in this package. I will link that down below for you so that you can also purchase them. But what I do is I just take a couple out at a time and they look like this. These are the pods and you will see on my hands, I already have some vanilla beans. Um, but what we're going to do is cut these down the middle and get them into our jar. And then the other thing you're gonna need is um, these little glass jars. Make sure you use glass, not plastic. Um, oh, I have my funnel on this one. <laughs> uh, but I have these, I actually bought these at a garage sale years ago and I absolutely love them. They have the little top like this, um, so it makes it super easy to seal. Uh, and this is a little one, and these are perfect for gifting. You wanna make sure that you do this project at least two months in advance. Um, the more in advance, the better, because the vanilla bean has to infuse into the alcohol in order for it to start tasting like uh, vanilla extract. So this is a great project to get started right now in time for Christmas. So I usually start by cutting one bean in half and then I take a sharp knife and I just slide it down the center. And then what we wanna do is open this up. You can see all of those delicious vanilla beans. It smells amazing in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put it in my jar like this, but this will expose it to the alcohol so that we can start infusing. So I've got my clean jar here and I'm just going to put this right in and I am going to do this with quite a few of them so that I can fill it all the way up. And we will have vanilla for a long time to come. You will see on YouTube videos where people just take the vanilla bean pod and put it right in um, the bottle like that without cutting it. And to me, that is a very inexperienced way um, of creating vanilla extract for yourself. Um, if you want a quality product, um, follow a homesteader who has been doing this a while and knows how to get the most out of it. If you just put this in just like this, sure, it will infuse and it will work sort of, but you're not getting the most out of your vanilla beans and these can be expensive. So you wanna make sure that you're getting the most flavor out of them. So make sure you do the extra process where you just cut these in half and slice down the middle so that you can get all those vanilla beans into your mixture. So I know you're all wondering how many 
um, vanilla bean sticks per container. So this is a liter and I always eyeball it. Um, I never measure, but for you at home, I would say about 15 vanilla pods cut in half um, will do you just fine. So now we are going to take this and we are going to fill it with our rum. So you're gonna wanna use a funnel like this. And then we are gonna take our rum and pour it right in over the top. Smells amazing. <laughs> so then you want to just give that a nice little shake and have all those little vanilla beans floating freely in there, infusing your rum with vanilla. So you want to leave this, like I said, for at least two months, but um, the longer the better. And eventually this is what it will look like. Look, you can't even see through the bottle, maybe a little bit right there. This one is an old sangria bottle that I repurposed, um, but you can see how dark and delicious that is. So there you have it. It's pretty simple. This is a really nice task to get your feet wet in homesteading um, and start making some of the products you use every single day yourself. And with something like this, I only have to make it once a year and this will last me almost all year. Um, and like I said, you can just take your bottle of alcohol and just fill up um, over the top of your vanilla beans as you use it and make yourself a little more at a time. But this is going to be the season upcoming that we are going to need lots of vanilla. We're gonna have a lot of baking episodes and things like that. So make sure to get yours started today. I hope you liked this episode. If you do, please subscribe for more content just like this. Um, and if you don't mind, like and comment, and I will see you again next time on Sheena's Homestead. Goodbye, my friends.